normally the wheels won't fall off. What usually happens if you let that CV joint go, uh, it will eventually break and the car will stop. The other problem is uh, sometimes when they break, they cause damage to things like brake hoses, struts, uh, other parts of the car. Uh -huh. And then it gets really expensive. Uh, most people don't know what a CV joint is. Basically it's a joint that allows you to turn the front wheels and allows those wheels to turn and to move up and down without okay. breaking the axle. If we just had a straight axle, it wouldn't work. I got the you. axle has to move. Uh, and usually the signs that you get when you have a bad CV joint is you'll hear popping or clunking on turns. Uh, you may even get uh, vibrations on acceleration that go away when you let off the gas. That's a good sign that you got an inner CV joint that's going bad. The popping uh, noise on turns is usually an indication that the outer CV joint is bad. Um, but it's a lot cheaper to replace them before they break and cause damage to the car.